Today we are going to practice solving linear equations using the OMG math method. The directions say solve the equation 3 halves x plus 2 equals 11. We observe that we have the equation 3 halves x plus 2 equals 11. We also observe that we have a couple of operations. We are adding 2 to x and we are also multiplying x by 3 halves. So this would be a two-step equation. Our mission is to isolate our variable. Whenever we hear solve the equation, we know we need to get our variable alone. In this case, it is x, so we need to get x alone. Our game plan, how we're going to do this, when we are solving equations, we take order of operations and we apply it backwards. So we undo addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, and parentheses in that order, going backwards. When we look at the problem, we see that we are adding 2 and multiplying by 3 halves. So to undo addition, we are going to subtract 2. When we are multiplying by a fraction, to undo fraction multiplication, we still multiply, but we multiply by something called the reciprocal. So we flip the fraction upside down. So now let's go through and solve the problem. 3 halves x plus 2 equals 11. First step is to subtract 2 from both sides. 2 minus 2 is 0, so those cancel, and I'm left with 3 halves x equals 9. Our next step to get rid of a fraction is we multiply by its reciprocal. 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, x equals 9 times 2 is 18 over 3. When we divide 6 and 6, we get 1x. When we divide 18 and 3, we get 6. 1 times x is x, so x equals 6. Another way to think about this problem is we could turn it into a three-step equation. So at this step right here, when we are left with 3 halves x equals 9, instead of multiplying by the reciprocal, we could undo the division first by multiplying both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2, those will cancel, and I have 3x equals 18. Then to get x alone, I would divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1x. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 1 times x is 6, so x equals 6. Both methods work. Both get us to the answer. It just depends on which way you are more comfortable with. So once we are here, we look back at our mission, which was to get x alone. Since I got x alone for both of these, I know that my mission is accomplished and I have found the answer. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you want to get better at math, subscribe to my videos here. If you want more information on math, click on my website link here.